Hydrogen is the chemical element with the symbol H and atomic number 1. With a standard atomic weight of 1.008, hydrogen is the lightest element in the periodic table. Hydrogen is the most abundant chemical substance in the universe, constituting roughly 75% of all baryonic mass. Non-remnant stars are mainly composed of hydrogen in the plasma state. The most common isotope of hydrogen, termed protium, name rarely used, symbol 1H, has one proton and no neutrons. The universal emergence of atomic hydrogen first occurred during the recombination epoch, Big Bang. At standard temperature and pressure, hydrogen is a colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic, non-metallic, highly combustible diatomic gas with the molecular formula H2. Since hydrogen readily forms covalent compounds with most non-metallic elements, most of the hydrogen on Earth exists in molecular forms such as water or organic compounds. Hydrogen plays a particularly important role in acid-base reactions because most acid-base reactions involve the exchange of protons between soluble molecules. In ionic compounds, hydrogen can take the form of a negative charge, i.e., anion, when it is known as a hydride, or as a positively charged, i.e., cation, species denoted by the symbol H+. The hydrogen cation is written as though composed of a bare proton, but in reality, hydrogen cations in ionic compounds are always more complex. As the only neutral atom for which the Schrödinger equation can be solved analytically, the study of the energetics and bonding of the hydrogen atom has played a key role in the development of quantum mechanics. In 1671, Robert Boyle discovered and described the reaction between iron filings and dilute acids, which results in the production of hydrogen gas. In 1766, Henry Cavendish was the first to recognize hydrogen gas as a discrete substance, by naming the gas from a metal acid reaction inflammable air. He speculated that inflammable air was in fact identical to the hypothetical substance called phlogiston, and further finding in 1781 that the gas produces water when burned. He is usually given credit for the discovery of hydrogen as an element. In 1783, Antoine Lavoisier gave the element the name hydrogen, from the Greek hydro meaning water and genes meaning creator, when he and Laplace reproduced Cavendish's finding that water is produced when hydrogen is burned. Lavoisier produced hydrogen for his experiments on mass conservation by reacting a flux of steam with metallic iron through an incandescent iron tube heated in a fire. Hydrogen was liquefied for the first time by James Dewar in 1898 by using regenerative cooling and his invention, the vacuum flask. He produced solid hydrogen the next year. Deuterium was discovered in December 1931 by Harold Urey, and tritium was prepared in 1934 by Ernest Rutherford, Mark Oliphant and Paul Hartek. Heavy water, which consists of deuterium in the place of regular hydrogen, was discovered by Urey's group in 1932. Francois Isaac de Rivas built the first de Rivas engine, an internal combustion engine powered by a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen in 1806. Edward Daniel Clark invented the hydrogen gas blowpipe in 1819. The Doberiner's lamp and limelight were invented in 1823. The first hydrogen-filled balloon was invented by Jacques Charles in 1783. Hydrogen provided the lift for the first reliable form of air travel following the 1852 invention of the first hydrogen-lifted airship by Henry Gifford. German Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin promoted the idea of rigid airships lifted by hydrogen that later was called Zeppelins, the first of which had its maiden flight in 1900. Regularly scheduled flights started in 1910 and by the outbreak of World War I in August 1914, they had carried 35,000 passengers without a serious incident. Hydrogen-lifted airships were used as observation platforms and bombers during the war. Industrial production is mainly from steam-reforming natural gas, and less often from more energy-intensive methods such as the electrolysis of water. Most hydrogen is used near the site of its production, the two largest uses being fossil fuel processing, e.g., hydrocracking, and ammonia production, mostly for the fertilizer market. Hydrogen is problematic in metallurgy because it can embrittle many metals, complicating the design of pipelines and storage tanks. 